Let's start the clap. <laughs> All right, we started that clap. We started that clap. Damn these girls, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Pinoy Boy Mikey Bustos here. Welcome to another day at the Pinoy Boy Channel. And I didn't wake up in Manila. I woke up in Taiwan. For those of you who joined us yesterday, you know how I got here. And look, I have a new best friend. A deer. <laughs> See, it was just Chinese New Year here. So, there's lots of Chinese New Year's decor up and all of that. RJ and Raquel are here. Here's Amanda. Good Hi. afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, Raquel, nice shoes. Right? You're so stylish. BNC Look. <laughs> wow. And I like your barbell necklace. Yeah, it's nice, no? Yes. Raquel here does CrossFit. Taiwan looks so great guys. I'm so happy you guys are joining us today. My voice crap. <laughs> Hi guys, we're here having lunch now at a Taiwanese restaurant and I think it's called Kai Fun Together. Kai Fun Together. And look, they just gave us these shots. It's lunch time and they're giving us shots na. Let's try it. Tagay! Oh! It's a fruit punch. This is the appetizer drink that you make oh, from the restaurant. Oh. Refresh. Ah, refreshing appetizer drink. Cheers. I finished mine. Go. <laughs> there you go. This place is very promising for spice. <laughs> Everything is peppers. Red hot chili peppers. Our tea arrived. And apparently it's smoky. Lasang uso, smoke flavor. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's like an aftertaste of smoky cabin. Oh my, look at this, guys. That looks delicious and spicy. There's the rice. Apparently, this is called runny mouth chicken because when you see it, it makes your mouth runny with saliva. <laughs> Salivate. Ooh, what is this? Potato? I don't know. Mm. Um, Those are some souped up potatoes. Guys, this is not potatoes. This is bamboo. And it's cooked with duck egg. Duck egg as in like balut before it's fertilized. Mm. Time to try the runny mouth chicken. Oh, it's malamig. It's cold pala. Mm. So good. Time to try the bamboo shoots with duck egg. Mm. Oh my! It's salty duck egg. Here we have the sitao. <laughs> In Filipino, that means string beans. Yeah. Look at how Pinoy we are. <laughs> the jahe piece, the last piece. No one will touch the last piece. It is for nobody. If you take it, shame on you. <laughs> you guys are so Pinoy. But you know what? I'm Canadian too, so I will take it. <laughs> guys, I figured it out. This tea tastes like a hot sauna. <laughs> Deba Raquel? It tastes like... It's like a sauna. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Speaking of sauna and heat, 
this here looks like it is so spicy so funny we were just commenting on how the food isn't really that spicy and <laughs> baka they heard us and they just threw on all of those peppers they're like those filipinos want peppers there so this is fish and peppers oh my goodness it's a soup It's just pulling you. Okay, I'm on my second bowl and yes, it's warm, it's hot, spicy, but like a good amount of spicy, nothing too powerful. It goes really well with this hot sauna tea. <laughs> Guys, I'm sweating. <laughs> the heat creeps up on you. And you know, eating this Taiwanese food, I realized they really pay attention to the aftertaste, the après goût. You know, like when you eat the food, you have that initial flavor, and then the after lingering taste is so interesting. Like, tastes like hot sauna, tastes like hot pepper after like the second bowl. And the bamboo shoots too were really good. After you eat it, you really taste the salted duck egg flavor. Interesting, guys. So, this is a Taiwanese dessert. It's like a bread, and then this is condensed milk and ground up peanuts. And apparently, may I do the honors? Yes. Yes. Okay, you're supposed to pour the condensed milk all over the bread. They're giving us extra sweet. Mm. And then we add the pea. Oops! Oops! Sorry! Oh my gosh! It's a mountain of peanuts! It's because I did not salt bay. Wow. This is the presidential building you said? Yes. Office. Yeah. Presidential office. Oh nice. Wow guys, look at this Taiwanese temple. Gandhi. So nice. Look at how ornate those dragons are up there. Wow guys, we're inside the temple. It's so nice. Oh, the temple has electricity. Apparently, these people are in line to see the fortune teller over there. A lot of people. It kind of got really hot in here. Oh my, there's lots of fire. Now, this main temple is the temple of Guan Yin, who is the goddess of mercy. The statues you saw, they are Buddhism gods. Oh, these are Buddhist gods, I see. And people are burning incense. Wow. That ceiling though, the detail that goes into the design of this place though is amazing. There are just pictures everywhere, writing. I wish I could understand what it means. See? That's all that's all writing there. That's just not wallpaper. This is amazing. Are these offerings? I bet they're offerings. This is ally guys. To the Buddhist gods. The buildings are really beautiful. Wow. I like the roofs and the colors that they chose. So Amanda, why do people come to this temple? People come to temples usually for calm, calm themselves or they have the wish to wish. Wish, to make a wish to make a come wish. true. So the wish can be anything, right? For a job? Uh, only for the good wishes, like uh, good not wishes. for murdering, murdering somebody. Ah, okay. <laughs> for positive wishes. Yes. Yes. Wow guys, look at this place. This is just super, super ornate. 
incredible. Someone took their time with this place. <laughs> So apparently, Taiwanese people believe that bad things happen in people's lives. And so they come here to this temple to help them get rid of that bad luck energy, right? Especially directly after Chinese New Year, which recently passed. So all these people here are, are trying to pray and cleanse themselves. The god in there is the Taiwanese, parang like the Taiwanese Cupid. He's the matchmaker. So, look at all these young people here. <laughs> They're all here seeking a better dating life. Oh, okay. So, guys, apparently, remember how we saw the ally before? So, all of this food, these offerings, they actually just get it blessed and they take it back. It's temporary ally, and then you take it back after it's blessed. Okay, so. This is a station where you can look up what year you are, see, so I'm the rooster and then it breaks down your luck for the year and you have the option to see one of these specialists who help you remove the bad luck. Interesting. See, you have a one-on-one -on -one session. And here we are at the CKS Memorial Hall. Wow! Oh my gosh, see those birds up there? Those are magpies. So apparently, that is the portrait of the guy that they built this place for. He was a very important man. And there's a statue of that man. Oh! Oh! We have to clear out. They're doing the change of the guard. Wow, this is special. Oh my goodness, I have to go underneath the ribbon. Wow, this place is amazing. <laughs> so those guards are going to change. That kid, that kid wants to be involved. The anticipation. Everyone's waiting. At 3 p.m. sharp, they're going to change those those guards. Oh my, there's a commotion. Whoa. Wow. That choreo though. Wow. They're totally in sync. Oops, something's happening over here. Oh. Some babies are crying. It scared them. Scared. <laughs> it's scary. It's not for kids. Whoa. It's a crossfit move. <laughs> That's a crossfit move. <laughs> Crossfit move down, Sabini, Raquel. They're just standing there. Parang they need music. All the same ladies. <laughs> now put your hands up. Guys, I think the new guards are finally taking their place. What? It's been 12 minutes of pure, wicked choreography. I wonder if people are gonna clap. That was the most interesting change of guard ceremony I have ever seen. What did you think of that? It was awesome. Let's start the clap. <laughs> All right, we started that clap. We started that clap. <laughs> Look at this view, guys. Isn't that nice? That's the musical house, opera house, 
president's office behind that gate. And this is the front gate here, this white thing here. And this is the square. It's kind of sunny now. So it's time to put on my YouTube shades. <laughs> YouTube. My YouTube shades. <laughs> How nice. Land. That sounds like the Canadian national anthem. <laughs> Look at these pigeons, guys. They're here in Taiwan too. Ay, RJ. Mmm. <laughs> time to tusuk tusuk the milk tea. Mmm. I love these balls. So, guys, just a reminder. I'm giving away a pair of free tickets to here, Taipei, Taiwan, courtesy of Air Asia. Thank you, Air Asia. So, if you want to win. First thing you gotta do is you gotta subscribe to my channel. That's the first requirement. And then what's gonna happen is, on the final day of this Taiwan trip, I'm gonna ask you a trivia that has to do with something that you've seen in these Taiwan videos. And you leave your answer in the comment section, and then I will choose one winner to win the pair of tickets. So you can come, you can bring your mommy, you can bring your daddy, you can bring your husband, your wife, your kid, even your dog. So good luck to all of you guys. Can't wait for you guys to join me. I want to give them out to you so you can come and check this awesome place out guys look at this traditional house slash place slash pan it's so calm calm I need calmness I'm trying to scour the pond for aquatic life come on frogs where are you 